Gear Tasting Radio is brought to you by Imminent Threat Solutions. ITS provides knowledge that empowers individuals with indispensable skill sets to explore the world and prevail against all threats. Right now, as a special thank you for all podcast listeners, we're offering 10% off in the ITS store. Simply use the code GTR to save 10% at store.itstactical.com. Welcome to Gear Tasting Radio, where we offer an in-depth look into the usage and philosophy behind the equipment in our lives. Of course, I am joined by Rob Henderson. Hello. And I'm Brian Black, and today we are talking about routines. <laughs> so, I know that sounds incredibly boring, but we're... Get psyched. Get psyched. Yeah. Routines. <laughs> no. Um, but, you know, we started chatting about topic ideas, and this came up because we were, we were talking about, you know, our rituals that we follow every morning, and that there's there's really gear kind of associated with those rituals too that we use on a daily basis. So mm-hmm. not only are we going to kind of share our daily routines, but also kind of the things that we use throughout those routines. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about my st- my uh, stupid expensive coffee machine that I use every morning. <laughs> However, though, there's a purpose. I did add it up the other day, and I have already eclipsed what I would have spent on daily Starbucks. Mm-hmm. So. And not that I like their coffee anymore because it's complete <coughs> crap. Yeah. I do their cold brew. Yeah. And it's expensive. It is. How much do you pay for that? Uh, per month, it's $112. So w- w- It's about $4.05 so per. So you have one a day? Yeah. It's wow. So what I did, and we'll, we'll get into talking about like routines and stuff, is like I wanted to start going back to the gym. Mm-hmm. And so what I did for myself, because I'm a very reward-oriented person, mm-hmm. is like get every day brew. you go to the gym, you can get a cold brew. Interesting. Or every day that you follow your routine, because like Sunday's a rest day, so I don't go to the gym, but I still get my cold brew. So so I, I can totally see the value in that then, mm-hmm. if that's what you're using for that. Right. I like that idea. And so like I still get it, like I get it with almond milk instead of dairy, and so mm-hmm. it's still healthier. Right. But it's just one of those things that's like it's a vice that I allow myself to basically work up to. Well, it's not like it doesn't sound like it's a, a vice necessarily that is unhealthy. It's right. just it's a vice because it's it costs you money right. every day. And if I were to skip a day, right. I wouldn't get it. Right. And that's a big thing to me with routines is like you gotta be honest with yourself. Yeah. Because I you like can always that. set like, oh I'm gonna get myself this when I do this. Well, you can always skip that. And so it doesn't have any I always wind up feeling guilty when I do that. Yeah. So if I if I try to reward myself or like, you know what, I'm gonna buy myself. I'm like I always just I don't know why I have this like self-conscious affliction to rewards yeah. like that. I feel like I'm 12 again like in my I did my chore so my dad's taking me to Toys R Us or something. Yeah. You know? But it's me. Yeah. To, you know, gosh darn it, people like me. I'm buying this. Well, it's funny too cuz you know, I'll buy stuff as we need it around the house and yeah. things like that and you know, Amazon Prime is obviously a, a you know, a local staple. Yeah. But I'll get something that's not a home purchase and I'll feel super f- guilty about it. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, we, Kelly and I have one bank account, you know, right. we deposit our checks in there and sure. we pay for house stuff out of there and bills yep. and everything else. But it's like when I go to buy something for myself, it just feels like there's Take a, it out in cash. Well, it's like there's a level of guilt behind it. Yeah. And I don't know. Interesting. I don't know how we got on that topic, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I digress. Anyway, the uh, so routine wise in the morning, mm-hmm. um, and I actually just went over this. I was on the Mic Drop podcast with Mike Ritland yesterday, and that episode should be coming out pretty soon. So nice. Um, just a heads up to anybody listening. But we talked about routine, and he gave me a bunch of crap for waking up so early. And he's actually a late sleeper, but um, interesting. I mean, I get up at between four thirty and four forty-five, depending on that's that's you know, when my alarm goes off. That's yeah. nighttime. You and just- actually, I've I've been really proud of myself. The last couple mornings, I've been beating my alarm clock, and I never do that. So yeah. I don't know what has changed, mm-hmm. but like yesterday or no Monday, I woke up at four fifteen, and I looked at the clock, and I was like, "Well, I'm up." Yeah, my you might as well. Yeah. I do the same thing. Uh, there's like no way I'm going to roll over for 15 minutes and yeah. wait for an alarm to go off. So do you so. keep the same schedule on weekends? Uh, no. Okay. No. So and then I have to use two different, actually three different alarms <laughs> to wake up sometimes. That um, is your body I, literally well, telling you. <laughs> so I uh, let me rephrase that. Okay. 
I have one alarm I wake up to, and mm-hmm. I have two. I have a secondary and tertiary alarm just in case. Because if you fall back right, to sleep, exactly. And it. I've done that before. I've woken up and I've turned off my super annoying alarm clock. And the Sandman takes you. Yes, and then I lay back down for some reason. Yep. Yeah. Oh and yeah. Then I'm out, and then the, the my secondary alarm usually goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. So I have a old school alarm clock that has the bells on the top. Do you, have you a, seen those? Yeah, bells yeah. to me is okay. Yeah. It's the eh, eh one no, that I can't No, it's pretty annoying. I well, mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure, like, anything you do for <laughs> alarm, I always tell people when they have, uh, like, a song set as the alarm yeah. on their phone, it's like, don't do that because you will hate that yes. song. When you hear it in public, you'll be like, okay, yeah. I'm ready to fight somebody. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's how you learn to hate things. Right. Um, so, I have that clock that I wake up to, and then I have my uh, cell phone, which I keep near the bed for mm-hmm. reasons that... <laughs> it's not because I check my phone at night. It's right. because I want to be there if somebody calls. Right. It's you know, an emergency thing. I want to grab it if there's an emergency as sure. well. So it's yeah. kind of that type of thing. And I've tried leaving it in the other room before as a way to not be on it. And yeah, I, that's too weird. I get paranoid about not being able to just grab it and go if I had to right. If I had to get out of the house in a hurry. Sure. So and not that you know what I mean. No, anyway, no, no, yeah. The uh so that's by my bed, and I'm, I always read at night, too. And mm-hmm. I know we're talking about morning routine, but, you know, it's on the flip side, what helps me kind of fall asleep, too, is reading a good book. Yeah, that's so been tremendously helpful. I always have helpful. three or four books on my nightstand I'm working through. Yep. Actually, I actually have some comic books right now I'm reading, too. But nice. Yeah. I'm, working through a bunch I'm of stuff. I'm trying to read, uh, oh, man, Mr. Miracle, the one that Mitch George is doing now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. He's I doing that with art. DC. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Anyway, um, so... That kind of helps me get into my nighttime routine, which leads into the morning, I yeah. think, is that, you know, I always kind of read every every night before I go to sleep. So That's awesome. Um, and then once I'm up, I always just head straight to the bathroom and change yep. and get ready to, to go to the gym. And I'm out the door and to the gym before 5. <sighs> so, like, that's my – if I if I get there after Man. 5, I, like, kick myself because I'm late. So – I have this self-imposed, like, weird thing, yeah. But, so that's kind of my side of, like, the early morning. What time do you get up? So, I get up at 5.30. I usually, anywhere between 5.10 and 5.20 usually, because I don't, my my body does this weird thing to where I don't wake up to alarms. I always wake up prior, even if I've set it for later. Do you set one at all? I do, always as a backup, just mm-hmm. in case. I've never slept to an alarm that's like funny. sometimes I'll wake up and then go back to sleep and then wake up to the normal alarm, mm-hmm. but I'm usually up between five and five fifteen. And you I use have the alarm on your phone. Yeah, well, so I use Apple has this thing called bedtime. That's right. I forgot and you about just that. tell it what time you naturally want to wake up, and then it'll ping you when you need to go to sleep, like an hour before. Hmm. So it always helps me because I'm like watching TV or something, and I'll get the buzz and like, oh, I need to start my nightly routine. Hmm. So that's kind of helpful. But yeah, I'm usually up 5.30 and I have five to seven minutes of what I call cobweb time where I just literally sit at the desk in my office and don't do anything. And I've done that ever since I was a kid. Whenever I first wake up, I just don't do anything. Mm -hmm. I just kind of sit. And it's not a sleepy state. It's just kind of like getting everything booted up and ready to go. That's interesting. And so then I'll change, go to the gym. And I usually get to the gym about six. And I kind of have the same thing that you do of like, if I get there after six, I'm like, man, I'm I'm dragging. I got to... I have this weird thing that I've always done where when I work out, mm-hmm. it's got to be dark. I don't, I, yeah, I, I don't know someday. why. Yeah. So if I, if I run um, in the morning, and sometimes I'll do that. Instead of going to the gym, I'll just go run or, mm-hmm. or do – I've got stuff in the garage to work out with too. So sometimes I'll do that. But uh-huh. that's what constitutes the gym. You right, know, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. More, than, more than often I go to the gym rather than you know, run – you know, near just home around. or yeah. something like that. But um, where was I going with that? I completely lost my train of thought. Dark. Yes, dark. So it's there's something about that where if it becomes light, like I'm just, there's no way I it's will weird. ever go to the gym. Yeah. So that's weird. why that's why I get to like that 5 a.m. mark. And I if I'm not out the door, I feel late because yeah. I feel like the sun's coming up. I'm not going to be able to work out. You know, it's, it's weird. You're like so, beating the sun. Yeah. And what's good is... 5 a.m. No matter what the time, it's dark. Is yeah. no matter if it's daylight time saving time or not, it's dark. Yeah, so that's a good that's point. Kind of that's kind of one of the reasons I wake up at that time hmm. as well. So just go to a gym that doesn't have windows. <laughs> yeah, well, I still got to deal with riding in a car. Yeah, in the daylight. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's not going to work. <laughs> so how long does your workout take 
Uh, typically between an hour and an hour and a half, depending on Damn, what I'm okay. doing. Okay, wow, so, that's yeah goals. Yeah, I'm uh, usually like, I'm usually there t- from five to six or something like okay. that. So nice. Yeah. And does that include like warm up and everything? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll usually I'll usually warm up, um, and I do either. I usually always jump on the treadmill and do a mile to warm up. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing that lately mm-hmm. as just a way to start getting back into running a little more. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never been a huge fan of running. Yeah, it's running just never sucks. been something that I, I care too much about. So right. um, uh, what I will talk about is since we're kind of on the gear angle too, like mm-hmm. what I wear to the gym too is typically just shorts and a, some kind of wicking t-shirt because yep. I can't wear a regular cotton t-shirt to the gym. It just annoys the out of me yeah. to look like a, a freaking uh, well, I don't even know what you call it like a s- drenched potato <laughs> chip <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but you like know, a leaky bag of oil yeah and I mean <clears throat> I sweat pretty good too when I go to the gym so mm-hmm. you know I don't like sitting there with a shirt soaked with sweat you a know, gray t-shirt around. that was white right. when you came in right exactly <laughs> yeah um so I wear some type of wicking material and I think I've got a couple of shirts from Reebok. I've got mm-hmm. some Under Armour shirts. It just kind of depends on which one I grab. Mm-hmm. Um, and then shorts are kind of a wicking material too. I like ones with pockets because I have to have my gym card with me if I go to the gym, and then my car keys mm-hmm. are with me too. So those are kind of important to keep with me. And yeah, I don't know what psychopaths are designing shorts without pockets, but you need to stop yeah, it. Put pockets on them. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a must for me. Yeah. But and then I've all, always got a Nalgene that I carry with me. Yeah, and it's got one of those inserts. Um, I can never remember the name of the company that makes those little drop, oh yeah, drop like in the, inserts. the drink inserts. Yeah, because I'm always, I'm always kind of <laughs> drinking off vigorously. kilter. <laughs> well, I'm always off kilter from a workout or something, and I don't yeah. like like tipping up my Nalgene, <laughs> spilling water all over myself. So yeah. Um, I like Splash Guard. That's what it's called. Splash okay. I think it's called Splash Guard. Nice. But anyway, I have that little insert in there, and I have that in all my Nalgene's. Mm-hmm. My, I think I have like four Nalgene's now. It's kind of ridiculous, but um, I always keep one in the fridge. Mm-hmm. I keep one as a spare to cycle out. Mm-hmm. I keep one here at work, so I have to take one back and forth. Nice. And then I have one that I take to the gym. Nice. And then when one's dirty... I'll bring the clean one into the location where any of the other three yep. are at, and I'll you swap just travel. Them out. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> no, that's weird. good. Yeah. Anyway. So, and then shoes. I've really been stuck on those uh, shoes from Nike. They Metcon. Are, yeah, they're Metcons. Mm-hmm. So they're they're a really flat bottom shoe, which yep. I like. Uh, so they're great for like lifting and yeah. Olympic lifts and stuff like that, which I typically do sometimes when I'm at the gym. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of gear wise. And then I still use the iPod Shuffle as my music player and I manually freaking put music on it and I know I'm fucking old school with Tell that. Tell about the war, Grandpa. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's, so here's, here's my reasoning. I've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. So they stopped making the shuffle, which I'm super disappointed about and I had bought a second shuffle off eBay right when they discontinued them just, just in case my old one mm-hmm. went out. And then I tried to get the Apple Watch because I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. I'll just put music on my Apple Watch, and then I'll have AirPods. It'll be completely wireless, and I won't have to worry about anything. And then the Apple Watch completely sucked, and I returned it. So you had a less than stellar experience. I had a horrible experience with it. Um, And then in the midst of doing that, I sold my spare shuffle on eBay, so I don't have that anymore. So if my shuffle goes out, I'm really screwed. So you can connect the shuffle to your AirPods, yeah? Uh, No, it's not Bluetooth. Yeah. So you put wired headphones in. Oh, my goodness. Yep. I have wired headphones. Oh, man. Ears. That's rough. And they're terrible. I actually, so they're from Bose, uh-huh. um, and I like them because they have that clear piece that attaches to them that kind of like fits in your mm-hmm. ear. Like a Secret I, Service agent. Yeah, I have a problem with the way my ears are shaped, and I can't put like a regular ear plug in my oh, ears. Oh, gotcha. Yep. So I like those because they hold my, they hold the... A little more firm. Yeah, they hold it better. And I can work out with them and jump and do box jumps or something yeah. like that without my earbuds falling out, which really irritates me when that happens. Yeah, I, I can't stand yeah. that. Um, so, and that's that was my worry about AirPods, but I don't think I'm going to run into that because they've never fallen out of my ears. No, yet. I think what it is is they don't have a cord pulling right. on them. There's right. no gravity that's yeah. like really working against you. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, man. But I couldn't. Yeah, I think that covers kind of gear-wise. What do you take to the gym? So I wear Chucks. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I can't really wear flat sole shoes normally because mm-hmm. I have a really high arch, and so it just kills me to walk throughout the day in them. But 
at the gym, I'll wear them. And so I just wear High those. High tops or low tops? Low tops. Yeah. I just don't have the patience to, to <laughs> tie the shoes. I just keep them tied and slip them on and off. Really? Uh, yeah, I'll do that or Vans. Okay. Um, and then like you, like wicking shorts and shirt. Mm-hmm. And then I have my phone, but I use an app called Strong, and mm-hmm. it allows you to build routines and stuff. And then you it connects, obviously my phone connects to AirPods. But if I'm doing a set, uh, I check off the weight and the reps, and it starts a rest timer for me. And then at the end of the rest timer, it makes a little bell noise in my AirPods so I can go to the next set. Interesting. And you can just work through that. Mm. So it's nice because, like, I'm terrible about remembering Mm -hmm. what I just did. And so I have this rule that if I lose count during any of the sets that I do, I just have to start over. And so I make myself do that too. I try to like yeah. really remember the number I'm on because if not, I punish myself. I do too. And so, it's funny you say that. Yeah. I do the exact same thing. If and I screw up a count, I start over again. And the worst that I've started like, doing is if I uh, if the rest timer goes off and I'm like being lazy to mm-hmm. to pick them back up, I'll just add a set to the end. And so I'm like <laughs> fearful of myself. Yep. Of like, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm picking them up. I'm picking them yeah. up. You know, just to kind of help motivate. Well, I think that kind of plays into discipline too. It's sure. It's almost like you're imposing that self discipline on yourself. Absolutely. That if I don't count right, I'm gonna pay a man. So yeah. I like and I it. think that's what you have to do is kind of build in your own checks and balances. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, with all of this routine stuff, it's like you're the only one that's checking. Right. It. Nobody's checking you. Yeah. You know, I think that's what people like the the military approach to it. But then there's somebody there that's like checking you, like yeah. a guy's coming in and like making you work out in the morning. Right. But like. This is regular life. You don't get that. So yep. you got you to gotta be that man that's like Very true. adding a set at the end. Yeah. Um, and then, so workout-wise, I typically do, I'll typically cycle through a bunch of different stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'll sometimes do, like I said, I, I think I started talking about kind of the treadmill thing. So I've been, right. I've been warming up on the treadmill with a mile. Mm-hmm. And I've just been trying to slowly decrease my mile time on the treadmill. Yeah. So I'm down to like 7.30-ish now. Nice. For a mile. So, I mean, I didn't start that fast, but over, you know, yeah, that's whatever, great. a couple months of doing it, I've been able to decrease it. Because I remember that being something that I used as a way to build up my running endurance is mm-hmm. I would run just mile repeats like that on a treadmill yeah. to kind of get my mile time lower. And it eventually helped with even some of the longer distance, like four or five mile mm-hmm. stuff that I was doing. So that's kind of what I've been when doing with that. Nice. Um, but you know, like I said, I hate running, so yeah. I just kind of deal with it. <laughs> and then, um, I typically do some kind of st- like warm up stretching routine, um, something to loosen my arms up because I had a, um, I had an issue with like a, a pole in my, what is it like my sternum area? Mm-hmm. It was called like costal chondritis or something. So it felt like the, so it's like that, li- I don't want to really call it a ligament. There's like. There's something that from where the sternum bone mm-hmm. comes and then you have the rib bone that comes around, but that, that medium that connects the, the sternum bone yeah. to the rib bone, whatever that's called, was getting pulled Okay. for some reason. Like sharp yeah. pain? Yeah, it was really weird. So, that sucks. But I think I screwed it up doing dips because I do a lot of dips sometimes mm-hmm. too, so I think that's where it came from. But it's kind of fixed itself now. I, you know, The doc said just, hey, make sure you warm up a lot before. And it's, it's not something that's going to – affect you you just mm-hmm. have to warm up right with it so i've been doing a lot of um stretches like arm stretch stuff <laughs> this is gonna sound like the most old person question do you take any supplements I like yeah. f- like glucosamine and stuff yeah i take uh, uh glucosamine and chondritin yep and i take a fish oil yep. supplement i take like the red omega red the stuff. krill the krill oil. yeah that's yeah. good stuff um and i take a good multivitamin yep. and then i do I think those are the only three things. Yeah, those are the three things I take. Yeah, I have a pill container on my yeah. cabinet. <laughs> I have I actually have a little mini um, clear tackle box looking thing <laughs> that I've converted into a pill container. It's my vitamin <laughs> box. Yeah, it is. And I'll refill my vitamins from the bottles that are in my drawer like into that. So Stay out of my vitamin box. Yeah, because I don't want to open a f- cap every day and yeah. take one of those f- things out of there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm not supposed to cuss on this. Sorry. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> but, uh. The, uh, that's kind of the, the gist of, of that routine. Yeah. Um, and then I'll typically, I typically do a bunch of different stuff. I'm either doing some kind of cardio as far as like a PT goes. Mm-hmm. I'm either doing some, some type of modified ish CrossFit type thing. Yeah. Um, I don't follow specific CrossFit regimens, but I do do things that are CrossFit like CrossFit like, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, and I always rely back on those pyramid exercises I do. So I'll do like multipliers. I think I've talked about this before, but mm-hmm. 
I do like a pull up, push up, sit up, dip multiplier. So it's kind of like going, if you can imagine a pyramid, it's like going up the left side and down the right side. And if you can imagine the left has like one through 10, 10 being at the top, mm -hmm. um, and then all the way down to one on the, the right side. So you're working up and then you're working yeah, back down. Right. That's cool. And then every one of those numbers has a multiplier. So like the multipliers I use are pull ups times one, uh, sit up or push ups times two, sit ups times three, and then dips times one or times two. Okay. So if you can imagine like yeah. one is all those things multiplied by one and then the number two level is two, all those things multiplied three. by two. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Nice. So like at the two level I'm doing six sit ups and four dips, you know, that type of That's thing. That's nuts. Yeah. I just <laughs> I would so. be lost in the counting. No, actually, I've been doing it so long that I'm okay with it. That's cool. Yeah. yeah so it's I just mean, like a routine. I don't, I think it's probably because I punished myself so much losing count that I'm, you know, it's like, I think I just yeah. know yeah. now. So, yeah. But I'll do that. And I usually work on Olympic lifts a lot too. So either, um, I'll either do some deadlifts or snatches or something like that. Nice. Power cleans. And yeah. Work on that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Um, I like to do that because that's something I never did when I was younger before I went in the military, and that's mm -hmm. something I've seen the benefit in now oh, that yeah. I've been out. Um, so, and I like to do some dumbbell stuff, too. I'll do some, like, dumbbell curls, and yeah. I have kind of a routine that I do with dumbbells. I don't get on machines at all. I, yeah. I am anti-gym machine, so <laughs> if there's a machine, I don't use it. <laughs> anyway. Just at all? Yeah. So, like, Love the it. only way to do dips in my gym is this is one of those assisted pull-up machines yeah so that you know you can like put the little bar down and set the way dude i can like, do so many of those oh my god <laughs> it's so dumb anyway no i'm yeah put you i am not the ceiling to use it. anyway <laughs> counterweight but they have a, a good dip bar that flips open on that too so you just use that yeah so i like push dips. the thing out of the way and i just do dips on there so. nice but <laughs> anyway um but yeah, that's, that's kind great. of generic routine as far as that goes. Yeah. And then I'll come home and make coffee once I get done with the gym. Mm -hmm. I will make myself in my routine stop and do any kind of errands that I need to do in the morning. So if I have to oh, like okay. pick something up from the grocery store, there's one that's open at six yep. that I can stop by. Um, and then also if I need to fill up gas, I'll do it then in the morning before I even go home. Oh, that's good. So that's kind of like my, my way of making myself do some of the errands that take time, yeah. you know, while I'm already out. Yep. So it's a good time to do that stuff. Yeah. Those are a couple of things I can do while I'm out and yeah. I'll, I'll typically do. Um, but then once I'm home, I usually make coffee and I kind of have a breakfast routine too, mm -hmm. you know, now that I subscribe to the old man paper. Yeah. So anyway, got to make my breakfast. How about you? Do you do anything when you leave? the uh, gym? Usually, yeah, I'll go either to uh, the grocery store or mm -hmm. straight home. It depends on what I need for breakfast. Um, I'll usually make breakfast. I do salads usually in the morning. Really? Just, yeah. Mm. It's, I don't know. I'm not a big sweet type fan, mm -hmm. especially for breakfast. So I don't do any kind of like fruit or anything. I'll just do mm. like a uh, bacon and then I'll chop it up and throw it in a salad. Really? And eat that. Yeah. Interesting. It's what weird. kind of dressing do you put on it? Uh, I have this avocado ranch mm. stuff that's made from like avocados and some other kind of oil. Mm. But it's it's very light. And then I shake it around in the container, mostly just salt and pepper. That's cool. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be kind of the whole house routine. And then I do my work daily review mm -hmm. after that. And then we've talked about that before. It's kind of like the GTD thing, mm -hmm. like getting the same stuff done so that you're checking all your different collection boxes and stuff. Yeah. So, so my breakfast routine is typically three eggs, and I'll cook them different ways. So either make an omelet, I'll either either eat them, you know, sunny side up, mm -hmm. or I'll scramble them. Yep. So those are my three options. Omelets are great ideas. Yeah. Mm. And I always, omelets are like when I have more time because yeah. I have to chop up all the vegetables and cook them. And, <laughs> it's all the prep. Know, yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, so obviously, like throwing some eggs, like fried eggs in a pan, sunny side up, are the easiest way yeah. and it's the Fast. fastest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I always cook bacon first, and I use the bacon grease to cook uh, eggs. I and, almost can't yeah. eat eggs that haven't yeah. been cooked in bacon. Right, I know. <laughs> I'm getting to that point. Actually, but believe it or not, you know, my cholesterol was peaking a little bit, and before I started eating this whole modified paleo thing that, mm -hmm. on the whole Wired to Eat program that Kelly and I have been on, which, believe it or not, has been since August of last year, so it's coming up on almost a year, which is crazy. Yeah. I can't even think of, like, I literally have not eaten bread on a 
regular basis at all for almost a year. I can't even. Anyway, I see, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> it's very weird to think about. Um, anyway, so I'll eat eggs like that. I'll eat bacon. I usually eat at least two, like one and a half pieces of bacon because I'll cook three strips of bacon. I'll cut it in half and I'll cook those in the pan so so it doesn't curl. Yeah. Yeah. So like the bacon's cut in half and boom, three pieces Done. means one and a half pieces for both. Oh, so you split it. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So I'll cook breakfast for both of us if I'm cooking or she'll do the same. Nice. If she's cooking. Um, we kind of take turns, which is cool. Yeah, that's great. But um, sometimes I'll have avocado with eggs. I'll like take an avocado and slice it up and have yep. that with the bacon and eggs. I'll typically always have a banana. I'm a sucker for bananas. Mm-hmm. Um, some fruit. Um, and that's usually like berries, like blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. I'll have some of that. Nice. And again, I've mentioned I'm a sucker for fresh squeezed orange juice, so I usually have some of that in the morning, along with water that has to have lemon in it, um, <laughs> and my fruit fruit coffee. So not particular, yeah. you know. No, I'm super anal retentive about my breakfast. Love it. So that's good I always though. eat a good breakfast. That's yeah. just something I've always done. Yeah, as I've it's important. Grown up is I've always ate a big breakfast, mm-hmm. so kind of helps me throughout the day. Yeah, absolutely. And the uh, kind of getting on the coffee subject since we were talking about it. So I've been drinking that Avoca coffee. That's what I drink in the morning. It's good stuff. I'll either I have that single origin stuff that they make. Mm-hmm. It's either the Cambre, King of Nombre, yeah. or whatever that is. Um, or the... Uh, Misty Valley. Misty Valley. Yeah, single origin. So I'll drink one of those. And that's always in the grinder. So the coffee machine I have is a Breville. It's a Breville Oracle machine. Mm-hmm. So it costs two grand which is f- absolutely ridiculous however yeah i it has already paid for itself yeah so i've had it two plus years now well i mean i was just I saying mean, i just spent 112 dollars a yeah. month on coffee yeah. over 12 months you know yeah that's two years and that would have paid so i still have to buy coffee but however sure. it's way less expensive than right than that and based on my calculations i've <laughs> definitely already paid for it so i think now it's just value added. It's also so. right there. Right. You don't have to go anywhere. True. Which is the other thing. And huge I never thing. stop for coffee anymore. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's very few times. I mean, sometimes we'll be out on the weekend and I'll stop sure. by and grab a coffee. And yeah. That's kind of like my treat, too, because sometimes I'll drink a cappuccino every once in a while, even though I don't really drink milk anymore. It's worth I'll it. I'll stop and yeah. grab one. But yeah, that's kind of the that's kind of the deal. And that machine has a built in grinder. So mm-hmm. everything is just automatic, which is great. It, automatically tamps the grind and you put it's it like in. It's like all in one. It's yeah, great. Draw an espresso. And, and I drink a uh, good espresso. Yeah, it's great <clears throat> espresso. Um, so I drink basically, uh, um, you know, a couple shots of espresso and some water, which is called an Americano. Thank you. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I just forgot that again. Um, anyway. Yeah. So I drink an Americano every morning and then I'll typically have some coffee when I come into work too. Can't so. get enough. Yep. Um, what do you do for coffee in the morning? You stuff so I do, Starbucks? Uh, yeah, I do their cold brew, and I have them put almond milk in it. Mm-hmm. And then I've been switching out. When I get to the office, I actually do tea, hmm. like a hot tea. And I'll usually do a hot tea in the afternoon. It just helps me, I think, stay more hydrated. Yeah. I drink a ton of water during the day, too. I try to drink at least four Nalgene's when I'm here at work, mm-hmm. and then another two on the side. So, like, breakfast I'll do an Nalgene, dinner I'll do an Nalgene. That's good. So it's at least six a day, which keeps you peeing a lot, but... It keep, makes me feel a lot better. That's a lot, man. That's good. good. Yeah. So I drink four Nalgene's a day. That's good. typically what I shoot for. So I've calculated like how much water I'm drinking in a glass that I use with, that I put lemon in in mm-hmm. the mornings. But I also do that at dinner time too. So that together um, is 24 ounces of water. Yeah. And then I drink a Nalgene in the morning. So that's 32. You know, whatever, 32 yeah. plus the 24. And then... Yep. I'll drink an Nalgene during lunch. Mm-hmm. So that's two plus the 24, and then I'll drink the equivalent of an Nalgene probably before I go to sleep, too. So that's kind of where the four comes in. Yeah, that's a good amount. Yeah. But that, you shoot for six? Yeah. Wow. Well, and so, like, building that routine in helps me so sure. much yeah. because – it just, I, I just noticed so much of a difference. I mean, literally all I'm drinking is coffee, tea, and a bunch of water. Mm-hmm. And it's just been great for a more alert, you mm-hmm. know, skin feels better. It's like there's yep. a whole bunch of benefits to uh, drinking that much water. Agreed. Yeah, and then I guess that's kind of the, the routine stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I think we kind of got through the morning stuff and into 
probably what we do afterwards. You mentioned the GTD stuff. And yeah, and we've talked in past episodes, which we can link, stuff, about yeah. like how that process goes because that's kind of its own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, that's kind of what I wanted to cover with Routine. Yeah. I think we talked about some good gear in there, too, and oh, kind yeah. of talked about what we use. Um, I, there's really nothing that I kind of left out in terms of that. I do use a cast iron pan to cook breakfast yeah. in. So. I do. So I have the Go Ruck gym bag. I mm-hmm. really like that. If okay. anybody's looking for a gym bag, they're really great. I don't even know if they still make them, but yeah. I just I keep different bags for stuff, and so the gym bag is to stay in the corner and get picked up when I need to go. Otherwise, I just have to take my AirPods out and charge them. I used to have a dedicated bag mm-hmm. that I took to the gym, and over time, well, actually, the bag fell apart, so I used it for mm-hmm. it's probably a ten year old bag. Yeah, um, and it used to be like a dive bag so kind of thing. So yeah, I par- finally gave up the ghost and. <laughs> I threw it away, and I made myself throw it away because it was just terrible. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'm just going to buy one uh-huh. on Prime on Amazon, and yeah, I might be out without one for a couple of days. But I got, I, I bought one on Amazon, and I got it, and I was like, man, this is a cheap piece of crap. And I returned it. Yep. And then I bought another one on Amazon, and I was like, oh my God, this is even worse. And I returned that one. And now I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to have a gym bag. Yeah, just build in without well, it. Well, I started looking <clears throat> at actually what I take to the gym. Mm-hmm. And other than the Nalgene, which I can carry, and my gym card, which I can put in a pocket, I don't really need a bag, you know? So, like, I do have a chalk bag that I take. So okay. I have, like, a like a heavy-duty poly bag, uh-huh. like a clear poly yeah, bag, yeah. and I put the little chalk bag in that. Nice. And I actually grab that from my console in my car yeah. and take that into the gym with me. So... And that's what I use to, because I chalk my hands when I do a shitload of pull-ups. Yeah. I, just, I have to it do helps, it. helps, I'm sure. Because I'll just, I'll yeah. have blisters like crazy, or uh, my calluses will split. Yeah. Ouch. So, yeah. And that's not fun when that happens. No, Because no, I no, can't no, do no. pull-ups for like yeah. fucking week and a half. But <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll take that, and I can just grab that and take it into the gym with me. So I might have those two things in my yeah. hands, but it's really not a big deal. Nice. So. I just realized I don't have anything else that I need to... I mean, now that you have yeah. had me think right, about so it... So, like, think about that. What do you keep in your gym bag? It's my car keys and my wallet. <laughs> See? There you go. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with my keys when I'm working out? <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Put them in my pocket? That's weird. Yeah. We have, like, day-use lockers, too, so well, I should probably... I don't trust I don't lockers. I don't put shit in my locker. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'm rethinking the gym bag. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... <laughs> I just I was honest with myself. No, that's like, a great I had a point. towel in there for a while too, and I was like, you know what? I don't even use, I use their towels. Right. Like I don't need to take my own towel. Huh. And I used to have like a a dot bag in there, and yeah. I was like, I don't even take a shower at the gym. <laughs> yeah, I come not, home and take a shower. I have a dot yeah. bag in the. It's bag like one of those like, I have it in there just in case like our shower goes out and I need to take a shower at the gym. Like, when does that even happen? And if it did happen, I could just grab well, it. Then, if I, if I go into the gym and there's an old man on the floor, is like, oh my, I got something in my teeth. I'm like, hold on, I got floss. Don't yeah, worry. Right. Like, exactly. This is my prep bag. <laughs> yeah, I just um, don't need to. I was just honest crap. with what I really need to take. So I'm gonna have to rethink that. Yeah, minimalist. That's what I'm going for. All right, thanks for listening to Gear Tasting Radio. Remember, if you have questions, use the pound tag Gear Tasting on any social media network, and we will get them answered here on the show. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts if you're listening, and your reviews have been hilarious. We've been loving them, so keep it up. Yeah. We would love to read more hilarious it cracks reviews. Us up. Yes, and hopefully you will give us five stars while you're there leaving a hilarious review Um, because it allows iTunes to show our podcast to other people and Mm -hmm. helps us get more exposure. So thank you very much for doing that. Last but not least, check out our membership. It's our crew leader membership. We've got some details in the episode intel for that. Um, It's a $50 a year membership, and it allows us to give you some really cool stuff in return, uh, including some discounts to our store and great stuff on the ITS store if you haven't seen it. So Mm -hmm. check it out. Thanks for listening.